And I guess now is as good a time as ever to uh, make another kind of announcement. Is that I'm going to be slowly taking a step back from visual novel content. I've kind of addressed this here and there and I've hinted at it in time and time, but uh, I, f I felt very boxed in for a long time now. It seems like a lot of the time when I do something that I'm very passionate about and I'm excited about and can't wait to do and uh, involves a lot more involvement. I keep coming back to the fact that every time I do that, less people are as interested in it as they would be in a sexy episode of extracurricular activities. Or not just specifically that, but in general, it's just an example. When it comes down to it, I still love reading the visual novels that I enjoy reading. A long time has passed since I started reading things just because I felt like I was expected to. That led to uh, a bit of a burnout a couple of years ago, I think. When I was trying to live stream like every day and just doing stuff that I felt people wanted to watch instead of doing stuff that I wanted to play. I haven't been doing that in a long time, but I still have felt like more and more if I'm just doing this, the harder it'll be for me to do anything else. And that's not saying that I want to do wild, crazy, I'm not trying to become the next fucking George Lucas here. I'm not going to be making movies and shit, but I've talked about doing stuff like song covers and skits and monologues and reviews and uh, lists and even just playing other games. This is just a platform for me to do stuff that I enjoy. And for a long time now, visual novels have been the primary thing I've enjoyed doing on here. And I still do. I still enjoy doing them for certain games. However, it's not all I want to do. And it hurts me tremendously. And I know, I know it's not, it's not about the view count. It's not about, it's not about fucking monetization. It's not about the sub count, view count, watch time. That stuff matters to people who are trying to make a living on here, who are trying to make this their career. I don't even know how many years I'm going to be doing this, quite frankly. I, I want to be a voice actor. I don't see a realistic path into that career for me. I'm still trying, but YouTube, being a YouTuber is not my goal. And so I'm sweating the numbers less and less. But it is very hard when you put a lot of yourself into a project and then don't get near as much support as you would doing something that you're not as interested in. I mean, shit, fucking... A lot of the devs that I talked about in this very show can agree with that. Um, I won't name names, but a few devs have talked to me about how they enjoy what they're doing and they want to see their projects through, but the idea of taking a hiatus or a break or shifting gears to make another thing their priority is a huge gamble because for a lot of them, it's their livelihood. They can't afford to take that kind of a gamble because it might mean not being able to pay the bills. Or even if they're not making it their primary, primary source of income, a lot of there's so many fucking visual novels. It's a fight for relevancy. It's a fight for the attention of readers. It's a fight for your creative vision, most importantly. And especially I, I can't in any any sense compare the amount of work and creative effort it takes to make a YouTube video versus 
making a fucking video game that it, it by and by far it is more difficult and more creatively demanding uh in so many aspects to make a visual novel or a video game of any kind so when you put so much of yourself your time and effort and resources and your creativity and you're excited about an idea and then you you put it out there to people that have supported you in the past and they're like eh, could you do the other thing we like that other thing it fucking hurts you can't blame the audience and i don't and they don't either when it comes down to it people are gonna like what they want to like and that's what they should do that's not a fault that's not something they should apologize for that's not something that anyone should be upset about but at the same time when you put yourself out there it hurts to not be something that is seemingly wanted uh She's singing back there. I'm talking about something so serious. She's jamming. Rest of life. Anyway, uh, point is that I'm getting at, um, I want to do other things and I don't want to feel like I have to expect a huge fallout if a series doesn't come back for a while or at all or if uploads take a while or anything like that. And the vast majority of people who are still here and who still watch have not given me any shit about it. I've seen in other places, people do give me shit about taking too long to upload, about playing too many games at once, um, my content, whatever. And it's just true. It's their opinion. So to them, it'll always be true. And they don't owe me their time. They don't owe me anything. And I don't want to feel like I owe them anything. So, going forward, there's going to be a greater variety of things on this channel. Now, I do have some technical limitations. My computer is absolute shit. And if anyone wants to pitch in to help me buy a new one, I just need a new laptop. I'm not looking for a fucking Alienware. That would be awesome. Can I get a sponsorship, please? Uh, <laughs> but I'm not looking for a huge gaming setup. I wouldn't have anywhere to put it anyway, but... Just a new laptop, something that can run more than one program at once. Look at it right now. I don't know if that'll go into the final product, but my fucking camera lagged. My computer is literally only running OBS right now, and it still can barely handle that. I would like to be able to play a variety of games. I'd like to be able to live stream various things. I'd like to do skits. I'd like to edit more stuff. It's just so fucking hard to do it because my programs are shit. My computer is shit. And I'm unskilled. Uh, I'm not. I'm not a Freddy Wong. I can't make magic out of computer-generated stuff. I'm not trying to. So I don't know. If you are someone who is only here for the visual novel content, I and not not me reading it specifically. If you just want to see what happens next to the visual novel, regardless of who's reading it. I have a few recommendations for you. Uh, if you are Spanish speaking, Naoki Cooper is phenomenal and she plays a lot of the same games I do. Um, so I highly recommend checking her out. Um, if you are more interested in some of the sexual content, uh, Uki Kuki does not shy away from that stuff near as much as I do. Um, so that would be where you should go there. Uh, then of course you have, uh, oh fuck, I'm sorry. I need a drink. <laughs> Been talking a lot today, I'm sorry. <sighs> Dirk the Red Panda. Newcomer on the scene. I say newcomer, but they're practically at the same sub count as I am, and I've been doing this for years, so... Give them a give them a try. They also do stuff in this sphere. Uh, hopefully, if everything gets settled with Shattered Reaper, that'd be nice too. Um, 
And there's always more than I'll ever know. No, 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 no. She's playing a game. There's always more out there than I will ever know, and hopefully you can enjoy them. And I'm not quitting visual novels. I still have a lot of games that I want to see to completion, and I have a lot of games that I want to try. But I need to take a step back. I need to feel like whenever I want to do something, that's when I should do it. I shouldn't be playing anything just to adhere to an upload schedule. Or because I know people want to do it. I'm I'm planning on also changing some stuff on Patreon. I want to uh, give them like a... Oh, which game would you like to see me record out of these ones that haven't been replayed in a while? Then it would be made of a list of ones that I want to play. As opposed to just be like, I know they're like this, even though I don't. The whole vibe here is this is what I want to do, and if you enjoy it, I'm glad. If you don't, have fun elsewhere. I'm not mad. So, yeah. Uh, if you're someone that only wants to watch visual novel content and doesn't want their sub box cluttered with other stuff, now is your time to leave. This is your series finale on watching me. But if you are interested in seeing what else I will do... Or if you're very interested in just watching the visual novel content with me and the voices I do and the commentary I give, but not other stuff, that's totally fine too. Uh, just don't expect near as much regularity or near as much consistency because that algorithmic game is not one I'm interested in playing and not one that is healthy for me. I've got too much shit going on and I feel way too bad when I don't do it right. So yeah. Um, I have a lot of updates I need to catch up on and want to catch up on. So those will be coming out when they do. Uh, hopefully before long, but I have no idea when things happen in my life anymore, so we'll see. But, uh, with that all being said, those of you who stick around, I very much appreciate your support and the time you've given me, and even those who are, who have been here and are now leaving, I appreciate you too for the time you did give to me. Yeah. I'm going to have to cut this and make it its own video, probably. <laughs> because I don't imagine there's a lot of people, of uh, the people that I'm describing, that would even watch this. So. <laughs> um, yeah. I'm going to stop recording now and I'm going to edit. I'm not going to edit. I'm just going to put all the clips I recorded together, upload it, and, uh,. I'll see you when I see you, all right? Thank you very much for uh, watching this and for supporting this whole Golden Steve nonsense. I've had, I've had more enjoyment with the idea of this probably than the execution, but... It was probably the first time in a while that I had an idea and I was just fucking jazzed about doing it. I was just like, oh, I, I want to fucking do that. So, yeah. Thank you all very much for watching and I will see you when I see you. Bye, everyone. <laughs>